We all know what was the reason for southeastern Ukraine to revolt against the new government in Kyiv, but there were other reasons except for fascism. The problem started when former President Yanukovych refused to sign the AU Association Agreement in September 2013. Let's look over the Ukraine. The former Soviet Republic, it is geographically situated right between the EU and Russia, being sort of a buffer and gas transit country, causing problem with Russian gas transit to EU from time to time. Ukraine had a strategic location in Black Sea and also has the great amount of natural resources. These factors made the location interesting for the major geopolitical players, such as the USA willing to control the Black Sea by NATO and let their companies as Shell and Exxon exploit the resources, thus reduce the Russian influence in the region. As the certain step, the son of American Vice President Biden got a position in the Ukrainian national nafta gas company. From the other side, AU tried to expand their economic sphere to Ukraine, making it the more convenient market for selling their production, often made from the Ukrainian raw materials. In the situation, the Western communities have performed the propagation of the European idea, sponsored Ukrainian politicians and fed neo-Nazi gangs to lead the riot of Maidan. Nazi groups became the leading power for the anti-Yanukovych protest and they kick off the Maidan everyone who had liberal or leftist position. The plans of Euro-American bigwigs were perfect, except for they did not take the diversity of people of Ukraine into account. The Russian-speaking Crimea and Donbas revolted against the Nazis and European economical expansion, willing to preserve the historical connections with Russia and live the stable life. The same is just for the European society. The sanctions against Russia shrank the income of the European agricultural segment. While elites play, the people pay for them. The Russia reacts rapidly in Crimea, whose people voted for independence and joining Russian Federation. But people of Donbas were forced to arm and protect the land from fascists and imperialists, knowing the real reasons of every political move of today's Ukrainian authorities and their Western patrons. For now, after a year of Maidan, people are still struggling for justice and against fascism. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.